Hey everybody, so we're up on top of a ridge here at Brent's house and behind me is their elderberry. We're gonna dig it and move it down to our place. So these guys, actually, let's let's rephrase this. I am not gonna dig this out. The guys back here, uh -huh. they're gonna dig this up. out. <laughs> they might use their big boy toys too, we'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably, oh that's good, yeah. Yep. We're not gonna be able to get all the roots, so you'll have to bust roots. A lot of rock too, so. Oh, like ours. Yeah. Well, Surprise. Right? <laughs> down below. Oh, more. Not flat ground. Oh. <laughs> That's a substantial one. Where are we wanting to put the dirt? Boy, it is cold up here. <laughs> We're gonna try and get this done as soon as we can. Um, so we've exposed all the roots around the base. This is just such an old bush, so we're going to go ahead and the guys are going to use the, <laughs> the boy toys. They're grabbing the chains and the trucks and they're going to try and rip it out that way. And we're, they are going to try and do as little damage to the tree as possible for this, but you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Ready? Yeah, just go really, really, really slow it. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> okay, attempt number two. Go at it from a different angle, and they've exposed a lot more of the root this time. <laughs> that sucker's in there. Oh, it is wiggling though. I know. Three. It's gonna go this time. Just about. There we go. We did it. Should I say the guys did it? <laughs> <laughs> we left a big chunk of root down there. That's all right, but this is good though. That's what we wanted. Get out as much of the root as we can. Okay, so we've got the elderberries back to the farm. Pardon the wind, it's just a windy day. Um, so we're gonna put it back here in this corner. This is one of the corners of the food forest. And the goal is that the chickens are right here, along here. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it in just a little bit more than I would prefer from the fence, but we are re-fencing this whole chicken run this year. So we're gonna go ahead and dig a hole and we're gonna get the main part of the elderberry planted right here. And then we're gonna go find some more areas, chickens, <laughs> we're gonna go find some other areas to plant and I'm gonna show you what to do when you're moving a big old elderberry and how you can still save it.
Okay, so we did prune off some of the roots. It's best to prune the roots back rather than having them cramped up against the edge or twisted weird. So we did go ahead and prune those off. So now we're just gonna backfill the hole. off now and what we've done is this this was growing on a slope so the root ball was way exposed and then the ground was like down here so we went ahead and covered the entire root ball and so that will help this to go ahead and make more roots all the way up to the uh, stem line here so I'll cut this off and prune that off and I'll also prune this off. We don't want anything that's damaged on here. And then we're actually not gonna prune this main stem this year because this has already been through so much. We do not, we don't wanna put it through any more than we have to. So I may trim up any broken branches, but otherwise this guy is good. And um, what we did with the main plant is when it pulled out, it actually broke into about three separate root pieces. So that's great. That means we don't have to do that. And so we'll just clean up those roots and those other pieces of tree and we'll plant them in different spots of the food forest. So if you're going to do something this extreme, like we've done today, do it when it's dormant. For perspective, this is how big our new elderberry is. <laughs> um, Micah is uh, six foot seven, so if that helps at all. So we will be pruning it back down to a more manageable, whoops, we will be pruning it back down to a manageable size, but we don't want to do that this year. We're going to let it rest where it's at, see what happens with it, but we're pretty excited. See, so these are our raspberries in front. And then it'll hang over into the new chicken pen, but we've got a little bit of working room so that when we pull this fence down and redo it, it should be fine. Here's our new camera guy. <laughs> Are you excited to be a camera mm -hmm. guy? Yeah? Okay. Good job. Going. Okay. So this is our elderberry. It planted itself, this bed down here. Eli, would you just scan the bed very slowly? So these beds in here, these are my main now you can come back this way. Good job. So these are my main vegetable beds in here and this guy is totally in my way. As you can see, I can't walk in this path and I also cannot walk in this path. So we, we did try to prune it so that we could leave it here, but that's definitely not gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and dig this guy out. You can see that none of these buds are open yet. It's still dormant. And so we're gonna go ahead and get him moved. Now, we also just did a class where we pruned. So Eli, can you get a close up of this? Just walk forward really slow. Yep, good job. So um, we went ahead and pruned a couple of canes. We did one pruning here, which was a one third cut. And then we also took a couple of these branches all the way down, um, down here to the ground. 
and cut them off flush with the ground. I'm gonna try to keep as much of this intact as possible so we do get a flower set this year, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So we're gonna use this elderberry as a solution to a different problem. So I'm gonna take you over and show you the other problem. So here is the problem. Currants, which I have a whole long row of currants here. Um, I showed you guys how to prune those in a video, so I'll go ahead and link that in the cards for you if you're interested in learning how to prune currants. Well, the problem with my currant bushes is that they receive full sun. That is a really big problem. It stresses them out and they get aphids every single year. No matter how hard I try to keep them healthy, it just doesn't work because they're too stressed. So these trees behind me were supposed to have grown up over these, but the currants have grown way faster and the trees are going way slower. So we need a, we need a solution to this problem soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out um, this current bush right here, which is a little guy, and we're gonna pull out this big guy right here. And then we're gonna take that big elderberry bush and we're gonna sink it right into this corner. And what that's gonna do is it will allow just enough sunlight to come through to give dappled sunlight to our currants and not block off the um, fruit trees from the sun. And hopefully, hopefully that will solve our problem. So we're gonna get going on moving this elderberry and these currants real quick. I think I just found a bug. Probably. It was cool. So this is our first currant bush here. This one's not very old. Oh, his roots are going sideways now. Okay. There we go. So this right here is what you would call a bare root start. So if you order bare roots from a nursery, this is what they're gonna come like. They look like a dead stick. They're not dead, this is fully alive. All that is going on right now is it's gone dormant for the winter. So I've got nice roots on here and we're gonna go move it, which will shock this plant the least amount in its life. So we're gonna put it somewhere else in our food forest. If you are not planting your bare roots right away, you need to make sure you have them at least up to here in a, like a bucket of water or something so that these roots don't get too much air on them. Um, and also they don't dry out, but we're gonna go move these right away. You just ripped that whole thing out. Yeah, okay. So this is a baby red currant that um, I did the layering method of propagation. So here's the mother plant and this is the new plant. So since we're out here, we might as well move this guy too. I like being the camera guy. Sweet. I like it when you're the camera guy. I think I like the idea of planting that really close to this guy. Um, so I'm gonna pull this one out for airflow sake because this one gets too close to those two. I think that'll be a better option. It is about four years old, I think. So it's pretty well established in here at this point. So I've trimmed all the way around and made a circle to chop off any roots. They don't have a tap root. Okay, go ahead and go like underneath. Yep. That's a big guy. This came and it was literally a little twig. It's so huge. Yep, that's huge. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go relocate these three. We've got two red currants and one pink currant and we're gonna go put them in a different area. All right, so this is where we're gonna put this red currant at. Um, I wasn't exactly planning on moving these, um, but you gotta do things when you have to do things. So we're just using the native soil to backfill here. I'm not adding any compost. That's not deep enough, I don't think. Um, we're just gonna, we'll put compost and some wood chip mulch over it here in the next couple weeks, but I don't, I don't wanna trigger it to uh, wake up too soon by adding too much manure to it. So we're just gonna kinda watch it and wait and see. I wasn't planning on developing this area of the food forest quite yet, but I guess we're gonna go for it. <laughs> That'll be fine. So we're gonna plant the other two kind of in a group here, and then we'll move on to the elderberry. Okay, so there's our currants, they're all planted. We're gonna go head over and do the elderberry next.
Oh yeah, this is a nice bed. That's why I'm like, I don't think I really want to give this up. So this guy, I just broke that. So that means we can have another one. That's all right. Yeah. Hi. No. Hi. Good morning. It's your turn to move. There you go. Now you found it. Thanks, camera guy. <laughs> He's gonna go in. We're gonna finish this job. Back to garden, back to Eden gardening. Uh, we had to dig like a couple of feet down for sure. And right next to a walkway. And this soil was just super easy. And it's really nice looking. So. Good on your side? Yep. Good on my side. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Let's put the soil back the way we got it. Because we do not want this dang creeping grass in here. Hey, this is gonna look cool. Well, you guys, we did it. There is our <laughs> elderberry. Hopefully, our currants will be happy. Ooh, the sun's bright. Um, we're gonna definitely put some mulch around the base of this and clean up some of the holes that we have made in the current row. But otherwise, and I got my busy bee back there. She's filling in that hole that we made in my garden bed, but I'm excited that we got that done. So we ended up with several elderberries and we also ended up with a whole bunch of starts. I'm super excited that this went well. This one behind me is a total experiment. The root completely broke off. So instead, Astrid quit. 
She ran off. Oh my gosh. She has a piece of grass. She didn't get to go with us today because she's not very leash trained yet. So she's very uh, happy to be free, I guess. Anyway, so this one is a total experiment. The root piece completely broke off. So what we did was we just laid it flat. This It was growing super uh, leaned over because of the wind that it received. So we just laid an entire branch down. I scarred the bottom of it and um, it has these three branches coming up out of it and we're gonna wait and see. I'm really hoping that it will root, but if not, this actually isn't a place that I want rat or elderberry. So um, we'll end up having to move it anyway, but if it doesn't work, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. So we ended up with one, two, three, four elderberries planted this week so far. I'm super excited. It makes me so happy, especially to see trees like this in this young food forest. <laughs> anyway, I'm really thankful for my big strong husband and our friend who pulled this out for us today. I'm excited to hopefully finally get elderberries off our own property this year, which would be awesome. But if not, it'll be fine. We'll get them in the years to come. Oh man, what a chore. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Happy first day of spring. We will see you guys in a video again real soon.